Uh, what is the budget of Estonian state IT? Uh, it's uh, together with uh, <laughs> investments, investments, salaries, uh, maintenance. Maintenance also means like electricity, all, all the hardware costs, etc. Uh, all in all, all the ministries combined is around 65 million euros per year. And uh, it still uses like disabled architecture, so it means that every institution has their own budget. It's not like that I'm controlling some, some one, 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 one being put. The CIO controls this. So, but we control it in a way that, uh, not me particularly, that I, but I have a whole team. Um, I don't, I mean like, if, if somebody believes that like Kotka is the one who actually shares money, no. Uh, I don't belong to any commission uh, or like, I don't decide over this money. And uh, I choose this way since the beginning because uh, as I basically know all the CEOs of, of, in the Stanley United market, uh, it was very easy to say that like uh, Kotka gives money to this friend and that friend because I really know everybody in, in, in top Stanley IT. So I, I distanced myself to all these decisions. So I don't belong to any, I don't know, like uh, a commission who actually deals with like getting the proposals. Like I don't belong to any of these commissions. So, so I, but my, I have a team who actually controls that. So that's 65 million euros. Uh, to give you a comparison, uh, Finland, the same number in Finland is 2 billion. Uh, what to do with that money? I mean, like, I, can't, I cannot imagine like, what I could do if, if, if you only have like, two billion. Technically, we are more advanced than Finland. The same number in UK, 20 billion. The same number in US, 80 billion. All of these countries are actually digitally not so advanced as Estonia. So money, definitely, is not the solution or issue. Here, Finland is the closest one. The problem here is legacy. 80% uh, of the budget is spent on dealing with legacy. Basically keeping up old systems, renewing old systems. A standard way is that if you have a legacy system, you kill that and you will build a new one. You fail and then you build again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you say that the Estonia is in the 21st century? We still have people using ADSL. Uh, ADSL, I think, yeah. But we still have it. We still have it, yeah, okay. Uh, absolutely right. I mean, like, uh, there will be always an amount of people who don't like technology or who don't have skills. There always will be. I mean, uh, we have basically, okay, no, I, I can't say that. Like. So, I mean, uh, we don't deal very actively anymore with, with really old people because we see that there is not too much result. Like, so, like, age basically solves this problem, or aging solves this problem. So, uh, there always will be, and there, like in every country there are people who actually don't teach the skills and they prefer to use like old-fashioned like, tools. My uncle was, uh, he had an IT masters, and uh, he, he, he didn't trust ATMs. Because like, it was the, like his, like, understanding of like, it was too sophisticated already for him. And he had, he had masters in IT. So, I mean like, we all have like our beliefs and trust. And I mean, most probably, I mean like, I can't understand the WhatsApp thing. But there are people using it like so. So, uh, there always will be faxes. I don't, I don't know about faxes, but like, uh, if you think about it, there's lots of noise about uh, uh, telecommunication, like internet speed and all that kind of shit. I mean, like, whoever has traveled, I mean, you love Estonian internet, I can promise to you. I mean, like, go outside and, like, you would never complain again, like, so, uh, so, uh, and if you talk about, uh, like, teacher signature, ID card, like, X-Road, I mean, like, you can't believe, but there is no such a thing like X-Road in the world, in any other country. Norway has tried, like, something they call Altin which is like, uh, if you look inside it, like you can get the huge laugh, but like, uh, so, so, and Finland now take, uh, took our X-Road and they implemented it in Finland. But there's no other country who actually can share data in a way like we do it. 
So why are you leaving? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I mean, I promise to be the CIO of Estonia just two years. Uh, I will end my journey January next year, which is exactly four years. So I promised to, I delivered four. I delivered four because I really believe in this e, e residency program and I understood that I need to be here to push the core, like core, core, core laws, I need to push them through. And the last important law was pushed through in November. So instantly after it was pushed through, I, 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 I basically give my resignation paper to the, to the minister saying I'm leaving. So job is done. Promise to give four. It's, 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 ti it's, ti it's time to, to earn some money again, like, so, uh, so uh, yeah, I will go after the money again. So if you ask me where, uh, I still don't know myself, so I can't answer that question. Uh, I have asked different companies to send their offers to me by Christmas, so I can read and choose. So, yeah. Uh, future of Estonia night in, in general, what are the... All are our strong points and we are really trending in that field. Uh, who actually says that this tiger has landed quite some years ago and he's fat and doesn't want to jump any longer? Who really wants to say that? Like, raise your hand, please. Who is courage enough to say, to recognize you? <laughs> okay, but, okay. Good. Now, can you, like, name a year uh, where the international, uh, how say, international audience has recognized Estonia as an IT country? I actually know those numbers, no. I mean, like, nobody uh, talks about Estonian IT as much as, as they do at the moment. So, uh, but even more, I mean, uh, this stuff, or the, the, the things what we do on, like, ever since the field, the way how we, like, reprogram and redesign all things at the moment, I did agree that our private sector is sleeping, totally sleeping. I mean, like, like there's a question about NSC in, like, later on, there's a question about NSC cards. I mean, uh, when Estonia implemented ID cards, there was also Austria at the same time and, and, and Finland who actually have implemented ID cards in a way like we, we have done it. Uh, 2002, when we came on the market, there was, I think, a couple of thousand ID cards issued in Finland. And even now, today, there are less than 100,000 ID cards issued in Finland. Exactly the same system, 100% same system, less than 100,000. And they have 5.4 million people. And 5,000 cards in Austria. 5,000. And you, can you like, imagine your life without that card? Or like, okay, my, my, my point is like you that without digital identity. Can you imagine life? No. How can they live like in that kind of shitty world? I mean, like, <laughs> yeah. So, but the question is a little different. Yeah, but my, my, my point is, NFC came to the market this year for banking cards. There are already 350 million NFC card issued in Europe. So we are way behind in private sector. So we have our banks, our telecoms are sleeping. That's your absolute right. Your country and government not sleeping at all. <laughs> so, uh, we list, oh, sorry, future of the years in Spreliko, was it worth project? Okay, I tried to prove that for you. Can you outline it in some number, please? Okay, did that also. What happens to that project in two, five, ten years? Uh, we have uh, still uh, a competitive advantage at least two years. So, uh, I, I assume uh, after the Brexit, UK will do it. Because they can't do it uh, for the foreigners. They can't do the, like, they can't give unique numbers to their own people, but they can give it to foreigners. So UK actually might be also one of the competitors. But Lithuania has the uh, law in, in the parliament. Uh, Netherlands, every time I beat them, they say, we, have, we will have it tomorrow. <laughs> and this is already more than a year, they say that. So uh, Singapore looked into it, but stopped. Spain and Portugal are very active because of Brexit. Uh, they have more than two million uh, Brits having uh, property there. So, and they want to like, keep those people connected with the country, even if they lo live outside of Europe. So, uh, uh, we, but we still have a, a competitive advantage. Uh, new Estonian Nogi. I mean, uh, 
Uh, if you can read Robert Kitt, the head of Swedbank uh, studies, he also is also PhD. Uh, he says that uh, Estonia doesn't need a Nokia. I mean, uh, if you think about Nokia, uh, uh, in 2007, uh, when Nokia was in their highest, like uh, share price was the highest, uh, it actually ha it was 33 percent of uh, Finnish economy was like somehow tied with Nokia. Directly or as like subcontractor, 33%. And then with like five years, the company goes down like this. So what will happen with this if you are tied with this? 33% of your economy goes down like this. So don't search for Nokia. Search different good projects. Like, like, if you could have like 50 companies that like are just 150 of the Nokia, would be way better than having one Nokia. So will, be, be, uh, will this become a trend? Yes. Uh, the, one of the best examples is ISIS. <laughs> I mean, like, that's a good example to show that, like, in the modern world, uh, the borders of the countries will remain. Okay, they might slightly change, like somebody occupies somebody and like, et cetera. So, so they might slightly change, but like, uh, but the borders will remain because there has to be someone who actually like governs the order. I mean, like uh, that somebody needs to watch that there is a red light in the traffic, like like tra tra traffic light, so you stop your car. That you just like, oh, I don't care, like that's that's it's a grand theft car, like oh, like you know, has, there has to be some order. So that has to be has to be there. But everything else is basically outsourced, can be outsourced. I mean, if you think about I voting, if you want e taxis, if everything is location independent, who needs location? So it's a, it's so we will need different communities like growing, like like ISIS. I mean, like it's way more important what happens here than here. And don't get me wrong, I don't I don't like salute to their ideas, like obviously, but but my point is that to make is that it's a very good example of that. Or I mean, like let's say that you have a company and. Uh, you, you, you sell carrots, and uh, I offer you European market, but I don't offer you 28 like, uh, different European Union countries, but I offer you uh, a community of vegans. To, to sell to a community of vegans might be way smarter than start like, op uh, like operating in, in different countries, in, like in, let's say 28, in different, 28 European Union -like markets. So there will be another layer. So the e-residence is definitely a e recent type of thing that like having, if you have like digital identity, if you know that it's you behind the computer or behind the mo mobile, you can be part of our society or community. That will be a standard in the future. So taking aside the most critical IT project from the state perspective in 2017 and 18, uh, definitely everything that is connected with taxes and like making it hazard free and simple. That's definitely the core and the most like, valuable things for you. I actually would like to redesign also the healthcare part, but uh, I mean, like, there are some areas in Estonia who still live, uh, I think, at least from the, how say, I, I, I shouldn't say any bad words about this in healthcare because the quality of the healthcare is very good. I mean, like, I had a very hard, hard operation this year and then and, and it actually went bad afterwards. Like, so, so I have to salute to, my, uh, to our doctors, they're doing a great job. But like, I, I think that the way how it's governed, it's, 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 it's quite old fashioned. I mean, like, if you look at how many telemedicine solutions you have seen in Estonia. Like. Zero? Okay, you have seen more, but like, you are in that area. So now we have state cloud. Hmm, really? <laughs> yeah, I know but, like, what it means, but like, I, can, I cannot say that we actually have it. What about state ERP, state office 365? Uh, we have actually proved, and it's interesting that I have been also talking with the former heads of Hansa Bank, uh, and they also uh, advocate on this, that the way that they started consolidate uh, software and products like uh, inside the corporation, let's say, it all, even in politics, was bad, was bad, bad decision. Having actually, like, different ones um, may, may pay back like way more. ERP is actually already consolidated. So most of the core functionalities, how the salaries, how the invoices are paid out, etc., it's actually consolidated. But I don't see that there will be like 
state office 365 type of things. Uh, it seems that process of adjusting Estonian laws to make Estonia more startup friendly uh, is suspended. No, absolutely not. I really suggest you to uh, uh, analyze and see the latest news in uh, uh, what happens, especially like it gets simpler to uh, to bring in more people. I don't know if you noticed today there was a news that Minister Ministry of Internal Affairs will form a commission to analyze if you are a startup or not. Minister of Internal Affairs, not the finance or like economies, internal affairs. So police basically. We'll start saying if you are a startup or not. And if you are a startup? I mean it's, uh, you, you get the visa better like and the work, working permit in, in, in more simpler way. And there will be like, say like uh, uh, if you talk about with local VCs, they say that the Estonian option scheme, what we have now, uh, is not as good as in Israel, but is one of the best in the world like, to motivate. So like piece by piece, it gets better. Like so, uh, it's way better than it was like four or five years ago. So uh, even though if you if you can't feel that, like it actually gets better. So yeah, then that's. What about Latvia, for example? Latvia has much more. That's, inter that's, inter that's actually an interesting thing. I mean, like, uh, Latvia did this, uh, the sealing the of the social tax already many years ago. I had a lunch two, two months ago with, with Latvian economic, uh, Minister of Economy here in Gloria, and I specifically asked, like, okay, you put that ceiling. Like, how many jobs you have created because you actually put that ceiling? What do you think what was the answer? Zero. 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 So, I mean, in many cases, we actually look what that Latins are doing. We see them like hustling and, and, and playing with all this. And it's fun. I mean, like, that's the point. I mean, like, with the residency, we had to take a lead. But, but to be honest, it's not always wise to be the, 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 the engine of the train. It's, why, it's way more wiser, like, to be the first car. Because the engine actually needs to know, solve all the questionable things, develop the law, they have the child disease, etc. And then you become on board and say, oh, good ideas, that one we take and that one we take. And also I want to remind you that, I mean, there is no point to copy others. I mean, if you, if you copy others, it's like 100 meters run, but you're always behind. You're running, they're also running. So they are ahead, so you're copying. But when you reach there, they already, again, they're ahead. So, so don't copy others. I mean, like, uh, instead of like, uh, going the same direction that other goes, find your own way. That's way smarter to think about it. Yes, if there are obvious things to copy, like we copied when, like in 1991, we copied like our social security ID system, we copied from Sweden, ID card we copied from Finns. I mean, like, if there are like way better things in other countries, like nearby to you, obviously you should do that. But now, being already quite mature, find your own way. What about NSCID cards? Uh, NSCID cards will come with the next, uh, there is a uh, tender uh, to find a new partner for ID cards. Uh, it was, the tender was blown up last year, uh, this year in March. Uh, uh, but now they are coming out again. And uh, the point of this tender is that all the new ID cards will have NFC support. I actually have ID cards already with NFC support. Is it legal? Is it legal? <laughs> <laughs> <I cut> it out. <laughs> what stops IT guy during his career the most? I think the ability to believe and act. I mean, uh, I mean, I have been working together of many of you, and uh, like, let's take this person, like huge potential. I mean, a huge potential could basically move mountains but lacks of belief to make a change and take the next leap. So, that's a question for you. What stops you? You don't have to answer, you can answer it then. So, a uh, man like a mountain, could move mountains. Has like high skills, like has like uh, been building up like many different like sophisticated uh, IT systems. Could be the head of Estonian IT, like, like could be the state, state IT, IT architect, basically. Why don't you do that? 
Your advice to future IT people, what they should keep an eye on. Uh, I'm not the believer that you actually have to focus on one, one particular thing, it's like uh, play with stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a very huge fan of our IT education, especially the Tartu IT education. And the, like technical universities, like come see, come saw, but like uh, even though I'm, <laughs> start, I'm doing my PhD in Tallinn, actually. So, uh, 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 so anything they should focus on? I mean, <coughs> but if I would say like, okay, focus on blockchain. I'm not a huge fan. I mean, uh, I think about it. If you think all the potential like, business cases that are actually, how say, described on blockchain, okay, you can actually build a, a like, like, like state property registry using blockchain. Like, we can have, like, the new directors will have the ledgers, and, like, uh, so we don't need the uh, sorry, like, Ministry of uh, uh, Justice uh, people anymore to take care of the, the property registry. I don't know. I mean, like, we still should have some kind of real database like under it to actually do the, all the all the like connections and like statistic work etc on top of that so then we have like two solutions so i mean blockchain still looks for business case there's no like significant block, uh, business case in the world that actually like pays back so uh, keep an eye on it but like uh, don't rush so, uh, well, I, actually, there are two things I cannot see in Estonia, and, and if you want to develop yourself to a certain area, product management sucks big time. I mean, mostly products are taken care of uh, engineers or the analysts. So you are part-time project manager and you are product manager. And that's, I mean, that's, I mean, I know the market is small and you have to do multiple tasks, but like in normal world, you have a person that fully focuses and, con and is concerned how to make the product better, how to make the market fit better. And that, we, we totally lack that kind of skill in Estonia. And that's the, I would say, I, would say, I think like one of the disadvantages of our IT education. That, I don't know if there is a course about this in, in the university. There should be, at least 10 of them. So, and the second thing I will lack. Oh, did I forget that? Okay, three pieces of advice to your successor. Uh, big story. Uh, I mean, to say, I mean, uh, I think I raised the bar from, let's say, if uh, to give a grade, the situation when I entered to this, like, uh, government CI world, the system, I think, was worth, like, in, in five point scale, two. And I think it's four minus at the moment. So there is a like, way to do to actually get it even like four plus or five minus. So I raise it from two to four minus. So uh, just continue that work, make it even better. Like make it even like uh, more ambitious. Like uh, more, more Can you name a person who could do that? There is a competition going on at the moment. Uh, so why? No personal preference? Uh, I know all the key candidates uh, by my... Like, Maybe you know someone who is not a candidate. Uh, that's a problem. I mean, like, for the government job, you actually have to apply. But who could be a uh, good candidate but didn't apply? Oh, right. Well, there are many of those people. I mean, um, I think you can name, like, uh, uh, like... Oik Okver definitely could be the perfect CIO. Stan Damgi would be a perfect CIO. Um, Deep Bonnen, like, could be a great CIO. So there are like many people who could do that. Okay. You don't have to be like a, a programmer to be that one, that, that 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 type of guy. But we have we have like, there are lots of talent out there. I mean, like, it doesn't have to be even Estonian. Can be a foreign. Can be brought in. But this is actually, that's actually interesting. I think that's, a, that's the same problem with what we have in universities, that, that we actually bring in a, a, a professor from Germany to teach us e-government, when our e-government in Estonia is like 10 times more advanced than in Germany. <laughs> so that's like, like slightly conflicting for me. Uh, what, okay, next question. Who and how should contribute into our education system so we shouldn't bring so many... So you will not comment on that, right? No. So
So, uh, That's the last one. Yeah. yeah, who and how should contribute into the, our education system so we shouldn't bring so many experts from abroad? Do we really bring in those experts from abroad? Okay, yeah, we have like lectures giving. I think it's good if you have outsiders. I mean, like this guy, for example. I mean, like, uh, like even even though he has a small head, like a brain is still like this. Like so, uh, I mean, why you don't teach? I mean, like, I know that you want to like earn your gazillions, but like, do something for do something for your like society. <coughs> That's why I'm here. Exactly. <laughs> okay, uh, I, gave, I have a great news to you. It's already break even. Yeah. It's, uh, I'm run, running out of paper, so. <laughs> so, uh, but to give numbers, maybe. Uh, I can hold okay, it. okay, I can. Or can we actually leave? Yeah, it comes out. So uh, the budget of the residency is, uh, uh, the government has uh, indicated that every year, like four years in a row, they get 800k euro. It, all, it actually includes all marketing, salary, everything. That's the, I mean, the government is all, 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 all transparent. This year, we were able to spend 6k. We were not able to get, like, kill, all, or kill all of it. Most of the marketing you see, it's not the thing that we go out and say, oh, become an e-residency. It's actually, I mean, like, people calling. I get basically a call per day. Like, can you comment this? Can you, can you give, me the, give us an interview, etc.? So uh, government is not doing a marketing here. We have had one tender. It was, we, we planned 200K for that campaign, but the best, uh, I mean, like, proposal, we, we, we wanted to pay 200K. Best proposal was 53. Not so, uh, not so efficient. So, uh, that's the amount of money we, we, we spend. Uh, this year, the government actually gave us 200 extra. So, like for the next, like for the 2017. So, when, then we have like 800 plus 200 from this year plus 200 extra. But this year, income was already. The, to the economy, 4.2 billion million, and actually a huge part of it was actually tax, because uh, if you actually have like uh, people working here, the, the people who actually work here, that salary tax to, has to be to That that value was created here, and also I mean if you maintain your maintain your your property here, uh, then you also also pay, pay tax here, and but the beauty of this, I mean. Estonia has never been so much in the news. So, can you actually charge like like how much money? I mean, if you, if you like Montenegro needs to buy time in Euro news. That you know that like there's like news and there's a sto like advertisement like beautiful like ladies dancing and then good food and then you have come to Montenegro. Like, you have to buy this kind of stuff. Estonia doesn't buy this kind of stuff. Like we actually like CNN and BBC, they all write about this and and and, and then show this. So it's all free marketing uh, to the country and the, the tourism, etc. And the, uh, but the most beautiful thing is that the, the the infrastructure again, like those engineers who actually developed those systems like 20 years ago. I mean, we didn't literally had to program anything extra. They used the same digital signature. They used the same sweat bank application. They used the same uh, API for the creating a company and any others. So we didn't do anything extra. We added one tag to the ID card, like uh, so uh, you can actually see if you're an e-resident or not. So that was the only add-on, and one extra attribute. I mean, I don't know. I actually know the guy who actually did the calculation, but like, uh, sorry, how come? Think about it. Random number? <laughs> no, it's not random. Like uh, you may guess whose number is that. Like, uh, but you think about it. Like, uh, I mean, uh, there is a potential up to like uh, like 40, 50. But you, you're gonna have only 1,000 here because last one is a checksum. Exactly, but uh, they have to be born on the same day. Yes. And same sex. 
So uh, it actually gives you more. And uh, yeah. So uh, and it gives you more. And we actually have uh, uh, we, we could use the, the, the numbers like uh, from the future and the best part. <laughs> if, if they're both, I mean, like the future, I mean, like you could actually start uh, using, uh, we're using five and six at the moment, but you actually could like lend and you can use seven and eight, for example. So uh, even though we have agreed that like we use it in the next century, but I mean, like for this purpose, like you have 10 million, oh, no problem. <laughs> okay. So uh, we have, we have solution and even like, even let's say you are right, you can do the calculation how many numbers we have left, but like even if, you, if you're right, think about it, like, would it be a like, massively positive problem to deal with? <laughs> think about it. The guy next. You're absolutely right, and that's, I think, the, one of the I would say, difficult issues, like, uh, is that, first of all, uh, there is no serving culture in Estonian government, and especially there's no serving culture in foreign languages. So that we totally lack, and that's, it's a huge nightmare for me, like how to change that, because I mean, like they can't understand then that, that like, like you, you are a customer. I mean, like we have to treat you with our best care, actually. It's a benefit. It's because uh, it works vice versa, I mean, like, uh, uh, as we have to open our system up to foreign, like, uh, like other European Union countries, ID cards, they have to open up their systems to ours also. And the Estonia has, together with the Eurasians also, we have the strongest, like the highest, like I would say, security and encryption level card in, the, in Europe. So uh, we basically, I mean like, like we might say that then Danes, I mean like your card is like a library card, so we don't accept that. <laughs> But vice versa, like, there is no, like, like, you can't say that I don't accept the Estonian card because I don't trust you. Because in, like, in all cases, we have like, the stronger like, like I'll say, process behind it than you have. And the beauty of this is that like, currently we can only offer success, access to the Estonian like, services. But they say that you are, like, uh, are you, uh, you are a British citizen and there won't be an ID card in the UK any, like, during the next 10 years. So they actually, if they run a business in Portugal, I mean like, and if there is no a residency in Portugal, like how they can actually use those services? IDAS gives us a chance, become an Estonian e-resident and you can use this card, not in Estonia only, but also in Portugal. So it actually, uh, we will benefit a lot from IDAS. I mean like, it's like, uh, uh, it, they, they, I mean, it's a digital identity. So uh, you will like be open up the same kind of services like, uh, I mean, you are, I mean, are you right in a case when you actually have to be a European citizen to use the service? Yes, in that case, uh, uh, you can't use that. But like in, like it's not, not it's, it's a very rare case. Yeah, you're absolutely right that uh, from our perspective, it, comes, it becomes more complicated. But it's a question like, are we willing to give away certain amount of like trust in our systems to actually to make it less complicated? And that's, a, that's still a question mark. Okay. But you are, you are both right. It makes things, it will make things complicated more.